it seems like transgender actor Danielle Alexis is smitten with Lamar Odom. Danielle posted a photo of her and Lamar with the caption, it's always blessings from us with the heart emoji. Uh, people on social media claim Odom and Alexis are a couple. What do you guys think about this one, Al? Let's start with you. <laughs> listen, we do know that both of them came out and said, listen, they actually are not dating. They just recently responded. But shout out to Lamar Odin for being brave. Because you know how black men and women in our community respond to these types of relationships and not very favorably. We remember in 2019 how, you know, poor Malik Yoba got handed his entire, you know what, for hanging out with a transgender woman. Um, but I kind of like the fact that even though they're just friends and they're taking pictures and spending time together, Lamar Odom is secure enough to post it, repost it on his story. And being a black man, a public figure, an ex-NBA uh, player, that speaks volumes to where we've come in the transgender conversation. So, you know, once again, big up to Lamar. Now, this is the real tea as far as I'm concerned. Now, we saw that Miss Sabrina... Lamar Odom's ex-girlfriend on Freddie O's blog site or IG page said and made a comment on the story that Mr. Odom has always been into the trans girls. Now that to me is the real tea. So is the tea that they are just friends and not dating or are they just friends and not dating? What do you guys think? Mm, Q. Well, listen, if he is dating her, this ain't the first time he dated a trans woman because I you mean... You know what? I knew <laughs> he was going to go there. You, I knew you know, it. Big feet and big hands over there <laughs> in that <laughs> cult light family. All right, so this would not be the first time that he's dated a trans woman. That's number one. Number two, though, if he is dating a trans woman, I am ready for us to move away from the the world where it's t that's the t because once again we're weaponizing people's sexual preference or the things they like oh let me give you the gossip he like trans women like, i can't wait till we get to a place where people's sexuality is no longer the t echoing our sentiments i actually love the fact that if they are friends that they can hang out because listen i come from a place and I still have people who I were cool with in high school who to this day will not post a picture with me because I'm gay or because I played this funky Dineva character. If we are at a party and they run out of ice and the two of us have to go get in the car together and go get some ice, they'd be apprehensive about getting in the car with me alone to go get some ice because everybody gonna think they gay because they're in affiliation with me. So I am glad, especially in the black community, that we are moving to a place of desensitizing people's relationships across sexual orientations and uh, gender. And Q, you know, I, I echo that because me being the, the media that I had, I, I've shared this before on the show, I would be out at different events and, and men in the entertainment business would not want to be seen next to me or even talk to me out of a, you know, association. And outside of being in front of everyone, we would have regular conversations. So this is why I'm big up in um, uh, Lamar Odom, because he and, and Dem Wayne Wade are really taking this whole trans conversation and forcing us to understand it better and also accept people's sexuality and, and, and believe more in who the person is instead of what their sexual preference is. I think in America, um, you know, I, of course, spent a lot of time in Europe with my family over there, and they have a whole different attitude towards sex, sexuality, and all of that. Like, when I was younger, the things that I would see on television there were just way more open. Like, my my two male straight cousins would walk arm in arm with each other. They didn't think about, they gonna think I'm gay, or they gonna think this or that. They, they just show love to who they love, and that's it, period. And they don't have the same attitudes that we have here in America. I think America is so full of SHIT. We're so fake. Like on one hand, we're so free and liberal. We can do anything. But then we're also very judgy and conservative. Like we pick and choose. We're all over the place. We're so free sexually. Then we we, we just trash women and call them whores. And then if you are you show any kind of kindness to another man, you're gay, you're a homo, you're a, you know, the F word. We are so full of crap. 
And I think we need to take a page from the Europeans on the, and that one thing. Mm -hmm. That one thing I do think they got right over there where they just kind of a lot more open about love. Yep. All right.